Hello everyone, welcome to DCC and IT Agartala. Myself Tejas and today I'll be discussing the problem C from Code Forces Round 872. So the problem states that there are n people taking part in a show and they'll sit in the row of seats numbered from 1 to M from left to right. Then n people can come and sit in order. Each person occupies a seat in one of the three ways. Okay, so in the first way the person will sit in the seat, seat next to the left of the leftmost person who is already sitting. Okay, so left of the leftmost person. Now, uh, suppose uh, I have m seats and I have n people and up to m, I have m seats here. So, suppose a person is uh, sitting here. Then according to the first move, he'll sit in the left. Okay, so let me write this down. First is left or uh, right to left, and second move is left to right. Okay, so he'll sit uh, the of uh, you know by following the rule one or the way one, the person will sit on the left to the leftmost person. In this case, there is only one person. He's uh, in the seat number three. So the person now if the if we want to add a person uh, through the first way then he'll sit in the left to the leftmost person that is he'll sit here or suppose if i don't have uh, any person uh, or any seats occupied then he can sit in the mf seat that is the last seat then uh, the second way is that he'll sit in the next seat to the right of the rightmost person okay so suppose if uh, here I had a person sitting here so according to the second move he'll sit in this position because uh, this person here is the rightmost person so he'll sit in the right of the rightmost person and the third way is that he'll sit in the seat numbered xi if this seat is taken then he can leave the show okay and the third way is that the person will have uh, you know have a fixed you know index or seat He'll have a fixed seat. Okay. So the person will have a in the third move. There will be a fixed seat. Now, this we will solve this question using greedy approach. Now, for the third move, suppose if uh, multiple people want uh, the same seat right then what will happen one seat can be you know occupied by only one person so we'll just take one you know we'll always consider the unique count of a uh, unique count of or the unique seat position suppose i have uh, four people and they want seats one one two and two so two people cannot sit in the same seat you know then in this case we can only occupy the seats 1 and 2 now let me raise all of this first sorry Okay, so our uh, first move was right to left and our second move was left to right. Okay, second move is right of the rightmost person, first move is left of the leftmost person. Now, so suppose the people, number of people following the first way are count 1. Okay, and the number of people following the second way is count 2. And so um, I'm given my NNM. NNM, I have my NNM. So this is an array of size M, right? Now, suppose M equals to 7. Okay, so count 1. If I place any element of the or any person, uh, you know, using the first rule. Okay, using the first rule, so I'll place him uh, in this position if the array is empty. 
or if the seats all the seats are empty then he'll be placed in the last position now what happens is that if i place uh, any person using the first way in the last position okay then the next person then i can only place elements in this order because now when i try to put any person using the second way the second way is that you will sit on the right of the rightmost person here the rightmost index uh, rightmost seat is this one and after this there is no seat so if first way goes first then second wasted okay then then we cannot place any person uh, using the second way and it's same for the second way too if i place any person using the second way okay then all the people who you know who had to be seated using the first way uh, can't be seated and hence that our number of people will waste the number of people or the number of people will get minimized now so what would be the approach you know let me read this <coughs> so by now we are sure that uh, we are not placing uh, people based on the first way or second way now let's try putting people you know the people who have their own fixed indexes okay now i have an array of size n okay so this is uh, n is equals to 7 now suppose i have n people okay and n is equals to let's say 7 and the number of people of the first way okay that is minus 1 count uh, is uh, supposed 2 and then our count of minus 2 is 3 and we have two indexes 4 and 2 okay these are the fixed indexes or the third way so now if i place the for uh, the fourth person in the sorry if i place the fourth person in the very beginning and this will be 1 2 and then 3 4 5 6 and 7 so okay if i place the fourth person here then what happens is that uh, this will become our rightmost element and leftmost element because there is only one person seated now in this case uh, let me just see the moves once okay for one left of the left okay so we had uh, two people that we need to seat using the first type of move that is we'll seat them to the left of the leftmost person that is like this and for the second move we'll be placing like this in this case what happens is that um well, for the first move i'll place first i'll consider all the uh, moves of the first type so here i have two people right and so i'll place one here so my count will become one now i'm left with one person of the first move and then i have a person who i need to sit in the second seat so i'll place this person here and this count will be one because i have placed uh, this person here and then i'm left with one so i can place this person here and this becomes zero now coming to the uh, second move a second type of move we have three people so we can place them one after other here here and here in this case our answer is 7 now one more observation is that one more observation is that uh, suppose i am at any position suppose i am at this position and here i have other seats so how many seats can i fill this side how many seats can i fill this side so the number of seats that i can fill is count 1 count 1 that is the number of people that need to be seated using the first way plus uh the number of unique people on the left side of this index okay number of people on the on left number of unique people on the left right not just this but the minimum of one uh, these cells the count of these cells and these number of people so the uh, suppose uh, uh, this seat is uh, k 
so this number of people that can be seated in the left will be minimum of k minus 1 that is the position of this seat uh, and count 1 that is the number of people that needed to be uh, that need to be seated using the first way plus the number of people number of unique people on the left how i'll show you let's consider a case okay suppose i have this array and i'm at this position suppose this is position 6 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so i have a person here now i have uh, suppose our count of 1 count of that is minus 1 i will call this count 1 okay so count of minus 1 is 4 and the in uh, the seat number of peop, uh, the seat indexes the people that need to be seated at a particular index in the left are suppose 1 and 2 okay so if i start uh, you know making the people sit then first i'll place a person here then i'll place a person here uh, uh, we are doing this using the non fixed indexes okay so we have placed two person then third then now i have 2 and 1 okay i have 2 and 1 so i'll either i can place one per this two second person the person that has the fixed seat here or i can place one person using the first way i have two possible no i have two options now i'll place the first per first person here so what happens is that in this case the count plus uh, the unique per people on left was equals to 6 but i had only 5 positions that's why i'm taking this minimum of k minus 1 and count 1 plus number of people on left and same for right for right it will be count 2 plus unique people on right so so we can do this using prefix and suffix array or we can also do this using you no know, vectors or list now i'll show you the code for this so this is the code first i'm uh, taking input nnm then i have count one and two uh, if i then I take the input. If I encounter a minus 1, I'll increment the count 1. If I encounter a minus 2, I'll increment the count 2. Else, if I have any other number, uh, that number will be our position, position of the seat that the person wants to set. So I'll add it into a set. Now, set stores only unique elements. So it will store all the unique indexes or uh, unique seat positions. Now I have a list of integers. It will contain all the you know seat positions from set. Now I'll traverse in the list, uh, this list that is the unique uh, positions of the elements and I'll see left, uh, I'll fill the left first so it will be count of 1 plus i because uh, no. Okay, suppose our list list is list will contain all the fixed indexes. Okay, suppose our list is two, four, nine. Okay, so this is position zero, one, and two. Now, how many uh, unique people are to the left of it? It's zero. Okay, it's zero or it's i. How many people are to the left of this? Unique people are to the left of this i or equals to one. And same for this one also. Okay so for left we are taking count of 1 plus i and for the right how many unique people are to the right of this index so the size of list is 3 okay so it will be 3 minus i minus 1 or list minus i minus 1 now also uh, left left will be the minimum of left and so uh, suppose I had uh, suppose uh, okay I had a one here 
and our count one was four so in this case there will be count one plus unique positions that is four plus one positions that we can fill but uh, since this seat is seat number two so in the left we'll only have one seat that will be one so uh, our no left will become the minimum of our uh, uh, this two minus one that is one comma four plus one so this will give a one and uh, similarly we can figure it out for the right also i've done this and then each time we'll check uh, we'll, you know update our answer with the maximum value also there is one more case in the very beginning i discussed that if i add uh, any person using in the first or second way suppose if i add someone using the first way first way first then no second okay so in if i take this way if i uh, put the first person using this first way then how many people will i have the number of people that i'll have will be the count of the first plus the unique elements okay number of people 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 i can place and but uh, this can exceed m so it will be minimum of this and this and similarly for the second way we'll have minimum of count 2 comma uh, count 2 plus unique comma m okay so this is the case and if i run this uh, it runs fine so 